Now you are seeing the test of the smallest nuclear bomb in the world. The M28 or M29 Davy Crockett weapon system was an M388 tactical nuclear warhead launched with a recoilless rifle. Today, the M29 remains one of the smallest systems designed to deliver nuclear warheads. It was mounted on a tripod, placed on a jeep or track transporter. The charge was launched at a distance of 2-4 kilometers. The force of the explosion was equivalent to an explosion of 10-20 tons of explosives, and the main striking factor was ionizing radiation. In fact, it was a dirty bomb, which contaminated the area with radioactive particles. The Davy Crockett was produced by the US industry in two versions, light and heavy. The light version of the recoilless gun, M28, had a caliber of 120 millimeters and could shoot at a range of up to 2 kilometers. The heavy version, M29, had a caliber of 155 mm and a range of 4 km. The weapons were designed so that the Americans could stop the advance of Soviet infantry and tanks with just one nuclear blast. It was believed that after such a blast, the US Army would have up to 48 hours to prepare to repel an attack with conventional weapons. Based on the positions of the advancing forces, the officer would determine the height of the blast by flicking a switch on the side of the warhead. The firing squad would also receive a significant dose of radiation within a 1.7-mile blast radius, so it was advised to fire from behind the hill and keep your head down during the detonation. Every person within 400 meters of the explosion center of this charge was almost inevitably killed. Those within 150 meters received such a dose of radiation that they died within minutes or hours, even if they were under the cover of tank armor. People within 300 meters of the epicenter experienced bouts of nausea and temporary weakness, which passed fairly quickly, but this was deceptive, they would die a painful death in a few days. Those fortunate enough to be more than 400 meters away had a better chance of survival, but many of them would have needed intensive treatment and some would not have been able to recover from their wounds. Those more than 500 meters from the epicenter would have been lucky to avoid most of the effects of the blast but the subsequent mutation of their DNA could have led to the development of cancer over time. The M28 29th system appealed most to the then German defense minister Franz Joseph Strauss, who promoted the idea of equipping German brigades with American nuclear weapons and argued that it would make them a much more effective factor in defending NATO against a potential Soviet invasion. He argued that one Davy Crockett could replace 40-50 volleys of an entire artillery division and would save quite a bit on the purchase of artillery. American commanders in NATO opposed Strauss's ideas because they would have made the use of tactical nuclear weapons almost mandatory in the event of war, which would have further reduced NATO's ability to defend itself without resorting to atomic weapons. However, the seemingly attractive system had a number of insurmountable shortcomings. In particular, it had poor accuracy, insufficient range, and consequently, a high probability of hitting its own troops. It was adopted in 1961, but was used by Russian armed forces only 10 years before it was finally withdrawn in 1971. Please don't forget that these weapons are designed to kill people, and you who are watching this video are human beings. Try to keep the peace, and if you agree, please like and subscribe.